Hello. Today we're going to make an embellishment out of a one inch square, a one inch flower, a little tiny bow, and a three eighths of an inch circle. <laughs> and we're going to stack them together like this. So we're going to take the one inch square and put that down on the bottom. We're going to take four one inch flowers that I punched out of a book page. So see, I just folded it over and just cut through four pieces at a time. So now we can go ahead and open these up and oh, I should have just left them apart until I put them together. So we want to glue these together just with a dab in the center. little dab of glue in the center and then we can line them up the best that we can there and a nice little stack then we're gonna take and put a little dollop of glue come on get off of them dollop of glue right in the middle of the square we're gonna take the flower and we're gonna put it right in the center there and then we're gonna take the little flower middle, the little circle, and put it right in the middle. And then we're going to add a little dab of glue and add a little bow. There. And I saw something similar to this on Pinterest, but they used a button instead of the dot. And they used the fiber be it was underneath the button or through the button. It went through the button and, and the bow was underneath. So, and this is what it looks like when it's all done. Isn't that pretty? So let's do this one. Oh, this one's got five, all right. Must have taken one from another one, that's okay. I'm sure it won't be missed. There, stack them up. I've been making a lot of embellishments lately. But it's been per request. You seem to be enjoying the embellishments. So as I'm finding them and figuring them out, I don't mind at all sharing and making videos for you. And then the videos on how to use them. Don't mind at all. That's pretty. All right, let's do a purple one. My goodness. Oops. Off, off, off. <laughs> yuck. Yuck, 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 yuck. Let that start drying while I'm doing the other ones. Oh, I guess it was this one. This one only has three. All righty dighty, good to know. That's okay, no problem. There. Then we can put a little dollop of glue in the center. Pick this up and put it right on there. That is so cute. <laughs> And I do have a, a video on how to make these small little tiny bows. So I will attach that video for you.
perfect. These are really adorable. Alrighty, imagine making these for along the whole side of a, making them into a border for a scrapbook page. That would be really adorable for a little girl's page. Whoops, yes, right in the middle. I think that would be really cute. These go together pretty quickly. These are really pretty. I like all the colors. Oh, and they use decorative paper on theirs too. They didn't use the solid paper. Yep. But that's something I keep getting requests for is some solid, some word embellishments and or any kind of embellishments and decorative, I mean, solid color cardstock. So that's pretty cool. And specific shapes like squares and circles and flowers and hearts and butterflies. All the ones I've been doing that's so that's pretty good but once we get a I know when as soon as I get a punch then I want to see how many things I can make out of it I don't want to just do one thing and then never use it again I want to get a lot of uses out of it and I have gotten so many uses out of this one inch flower it's been awesome and my little dots I'm constantly cutting out dots all right, one left to go. So my granddaughter is doing lacrosse now. And that is the most interesting sport I've ever seen. Oh my goodness. It is so cool the way they play this. And catching this ball in this little netted stick. That's just amazing to me. And they're running up and down the football field. Back and forth and back and forth. And oh my goodness. She's been wiping herself out at night. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, now wait till you see these close up. These are so cute. Aren't they pretty? Very simple. And because the, the book pages are kind of old and discolored, they match perfect with my spool of off-white thread there. So that's really neat. All righty. So let's see what we can make with Alrighty, that's the next thing. What do you make? Hmm, good question. Well, I would say first off, let's grab another piece of book page. Make sure there's no swears on it. I don't think there are. Whoops, killed himself. That's not very nice, but maybe I'll turn it over. Does it talk about? Up, oh, somebody died. Well, maybe we can cover it up. I hope they're on the same row. That's funny. Okay. 
All right, I'll just tear that portion off. All right, we can deal with this. Yes, we can. All righty, where's my tearing ruler? I made myself a tearing ruler and I will put that, connect that to the this video also for you. needs to go on so I need it to be about right here and needs to go on about right here perfect Don't see anything bad on there. All right, good. It was a detective story anyway, so it was really cool. All right, so I'm thinking I want to distress going around this. So let me get out one of my little... thingies here. Let's see, I need a blue one right there. That'll work. And yes, I made these. And I will connect that video also. Perfect. All right. Cool beans. Now I'm thinking, let's see. Do I want to put a row of them down or just a just one. Ooh, the three greenish. Ooh, those are pretty together. That's pretty. I like that. Hmm. Let's do that. Why not? and see what other what the other colors would like like to maybe like to throw a different color in there huh let's picture in this one maybe Ooh, that's kind of pretty that and an orange that's pretty too hmm That's pretty. I like that. Alrighty, so we still got two left. May as well go ahead and do those too. Ooh, that gray's really pretty. Then what? 
Let's see. I think I need a panel to go underneath there, though. Oh, you know what? I have these blue panels. Where'd they go? I have a whole stack of them right there. That'll be perfect. Ooh, yes. That'll be pretty. Oh, that's pretty. I like that. And now I'm wondering, I have some lace I can put on there too. That is going to be pretty. <laughs> I just keep adding and adding, but this is going to be gorgeous. All right, let me get that lace. All righty, box. This will be perfect. That is going to be really pretty. All right, so let's get this on here. First, let me cut this at. Put that away. Don't need the ink down here. Put this away. Need this at five and a half. There. All righty. This will be pretty. And I don't want it right in the center. I want it over a little bit. Oh, it smells very jute. Yes, it does. All right, this is going to be pretty. Oh, yes. That's nice. I like that. All right, we're going to do this on either side. So I'm going to need lots of glue on there. Looks nice. We'll get some glue on this. That's pretty. There, let me get my other scissors. These are my cloth scissors. Nice. From this edge up and I want to put some glue at the bottom just to keep that together because that will dry clear and that will hold it together so it doesn't shred hopefully alrighty so now we've got to do this side perfect Let's turn that over and get this on here. There, that is going to be pretty. Let's 
stay there. Don't flip up. <laughs> Don't want it to flip up. No, no, no. All right, that is pretty. Very good. So now we can go ahead and put some of these on there. The purple one would be gorgeous. I'm thinking maybe just three. Because I don't want it to be too much. I guess it's not too much to have three. All right. Or four, rather. I'm going to go for it. I think that's really pretty. Let's do this. away while I remember it. I like this. I like the look. This has got a kind of grungy look to it. But I like it. That's pretty. Nice, unique looking card. Oh, I like it, I like it, I like it. Alrighty, now I'm wondering the inside. I'm wondering if I should just wrap some of this thin fiber around. I bet that would be neat looking. But then how would I attach it on the back? I'd have to do it on a, I know, I can do it on a piece of white. And then, yep, do that. So I'm going to need double stick tape on the top and bottom. Double stick tape right there. There. Now, this will be fun. All righty. And I need it that long. So one, two, three, four. Five. All right. That should do it. Put these. Oops, no, I need that. Quit throwing them. In the drawer, Barb, you need them. Good idea. Let's get that tape back here. And I want to put another piece of tape over that to make sure it holds it down. And we may as well go ahead and put tape up the whole strip. Why not? I wanted to wrap taper, I mean the, the fiber around, but I didn't want it to be seen on the way back. So this is a good way to disguise it. So now we can go ahead and lay this down on there. And that 
is attached. That's pretty cool. All right, so now I'm thinking I might need something right here. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little piece and just tie a knot. and I can put a little bit of glue right underneath the knot. Actually, I want it either up or down. How about down? Don't want it right smack dab in the middle. There. All right. <laughs> that's, that's so little. <laughs> that's cute. All right, that's cute. There. Now I can go ahead and put some glue underneath there. Perfect. There. That's cool. So now we've got the outside all done, and then the inside, the string to match. I like that. And we've got three extras. Alrighty, so I can use that for something else, or I could put one of these in here. Maybe I'll put one at the top. That's an idea. There, I'll do that. Voila. Oh, that looks nice on the inside. Alrighty, what do you think? That's pretty nifty. I like that. So let me bring it up closer to you. Let me put these away. Don't want to forget to put this stuff away. All right, put this back. I need to remember to do this video and the bow video. Okay, so two videos. All right, so here's the card. And here's the inside. And here's the two leftover embellishments. So I hope you like this idea and you'll give it a try. Another little tiny embellishment you can make using up your itty bitty scraps. So, and until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.